Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the another video of IGFG Beauty Dish Week. So yesterday I skipped this question, like uh, I skipped the video making on this question that is to reverse a doubly linked list. It is asked in two good companies, D Shaw and Adobe. So uh, I hope you were able to do this question because it's a very standard one. And since I was traveling, I was not able to make the video on it. So yep, but I hope you were able to maintain your streak and was able to do this question. Okay, so there is one again very standard question on linked list. There is the intersection of two sorted linked lists, right? It is also asked in some companies like Amazon, Microsoft, and else. Okay, so uh, what the question says here is that we have been given two linked lists, which is sorted in increasing order. We need to create a new linked list, repeating the intersection of the two linked lists. What is the intersection? That the nodes which are common in both of the list. The new linked list should made be should be made without changing the original without changing the original list okay ठीक है तो मतलब हमारे पास जो list है हमने उसमें कुछ नहीं करना है we have to make another uh, linked list of the common nodes the elements of the linked list are not necessarily are not necessarily necessarily distinct okay okay so not necessarily distinct that now this question uh, this line has made this question uh, a bit a bit complex because uh, okay let us first see the input and output so there are the first list has the nodes 1 2 3 4 and 6 the second has 2 4 6 and 8 right so what are the common so 2 is there in both of them 4 is there in both of both of the list 6 is there in both of the list right so the common nodes are 2 4 and 6 right and we need to maintain the order as well Mm. Yes, so 246. So that is why we have the output as 246. So you need to return the link list, which is like this. And you need to return the head of your answer. Similarly, for the second answer, 10, 20, 40, 50, and 15 and 40, the only common node here is 40. Right? Now, agar hamare paas, uh, sare nodes distinct hota in, in both of the cases, just as case mein tha, right? So we have to do a hash set bana lete, right? of type integer. Correct? And what do we do? That the first list that we should put all the elements of the first list in the hash set. So the hash set will have the elements as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. Right? Now, this was your first move. This would be my first move. Uh, second move would be that I will just iterate. I will iterate in second list. Right? And I will see that if the nodes, so what are the nodes? If 2. So I will just check if 2 is contains in hash set or not. I can clearly see 2 is there, right? So I'll make a head with 2, right? And I'll delete that node from the list 1. Now I'll go ahead with the second node. So it is 4. So I, I'll again check if 4 is there. Yes, 4 is there. So make a second node and delete it from the hash set. Now, again, the next is 6, right? So 6 is there. Yes, 6 is also there. So make a new node of 6 and then delete it again. Similarly, 8. So 8 is not there. So that, that would be your answer. Right, but if we have a hash set, then we will have some cases fail. You have uh, 1, 1, and 1, and 1, and 1. Right, so what should answer be? Your expected output. Expected output would have been 1, which is pointing to 1, because this one and this one would be like a common node, and again this one and this one would be like a common node. So there will be two ones. Right, so this would be your expected output. But in our code, what will happen if we use a hash set? Then the first, according to our first move, only one would be there. One will be the uh, will be there just once in a hash set because hash set does not allow duplicacy, right? In the second move again, we will see that one is there. Okay, the list second list has the first node as one. I'll check it. If it is there, I'll remove it, right? Because if you will not remove it, then the distinct thing uh, case will give us the error. So what will happen? You will have a first node as one and then we'll proceed ahead while checking the first. So you will have again one. But as you can clearly see, since we have removed the one from the hash set, so it will check there, are, there is no one present for the second one, right? And our, and our answer would be just this single one pointing to null. So this is where our code will go wrong or where our approach will go wrong for the first one. So what we can do this because they have said we need to handle the duplicacy as well, right? And if you see, I have already solved this question in my previous, uh, what to say, mm, in 2021. And at that time, 
this note was not there i guess and that is why this hash set code was code was working right i was pushing all the notes of the list one into the hash set the data actually and i was just checking while iterating in the second list if it is contains in the hash set then definitely that is a common node present in both the list remove the node from the list make a new node and then just return the head of our uh, for uh, the new list right so but now it will not happen like that so what we can do here is since they have said that the elements could be repeating so instead of creating a hash set right we will create a hash map now many of you would be getting a question ki bhai aap hash set aur hash map use hi kyu kar rahe ho right so definitely um it's it means that maybe you are not aware of the functionality of hash set to hame kya karna hai yaar hamare paas first list mein kuch nodes present hai hame ko check karna hai main second list mein iterate kar jaunga main check kar lunga कि अगर कोई पर्टिकुलर नोड इस पूरे लिस्ट वन में प्रेजेंट है नहीं राइट right? तो ये मैं क्या कर लूँगा ओ ऑफ वन में एक्सेस कर लूँगा बिकॉज यू हैव ऑलरेडी पुश ऑल द नोड ऑफ द लिस्ट वन टू हैश शेट एंड टू चेक इफ समथिंग इज प्रेजेंट एंड हैश शेट और हैश मैप इट्स टेक द इट्स टेक कॉन्स्टेंट टाइम कमिस्टी दैट इज ओ ऑफ वन एंड दट इज वाई वी आर यूजिंग ए हैश शेट एंड हैश मैप हेयर सो वी विल मेंटेन अ हैश मैप हेयर ऑफ इंटीजियर डॉट इंटीजियर टाइप कॉमा एंड वी विल पुश द फ्रीक्वेंसी राइट so that's what happened in the second test case we have two ones and three ones right so doing our first move what will happen the elements present in the hash map would be the key value pair the key as one and the value is nothing but the frequency so there are two ones i will i will just say there is a val there is a key with value one with the data as one and the frequency is two right now regarding our next next step what will happen that i will have i will start with my first node and i will check if it contains yes it is contains right so make a new node with this value and decrease the frequency so i'll decrease it by 1 right and to decrease by 1 it will be 1 again i'll go with the second node in the list so it is again one so i'll again check if it is present in the list uh, in the hash map yes so i'll again decrease the frequency by 1 so it becomes zero now right and i'll make a new node and once the frequency is zero you remove the entire entry right so our updated hash map would be an empty hash map once you have iterated the first two elements of the second list correct now the third element here is again one and i can clearly see that there are no such elements present now that this is not that th this is not present in hash map right so i'll not add any more one in my resultant linked list right and this would be your answer so your expected output and our output matches correctly here now so please pause this video pause the video and try to code this approach by yourself i have already showed you one code uh that how we can do using a hash set so you just have to do some manipulation using the hash map and you'll be able to get through it right so please pause this video here now and try to code this approach great so that is the code we have in java we have a hash map right and then we are just pushing the first node and its frequency in the hash map we are iterating for the second list and we are checking if it if it contains in the list 1 as well and the frequency is greater than 0 right then what we need to do we first need to decrease the frequency by 1 right and then we are making the list now what is result doing here so when you have your first like when you are making your first node like this one right so what we have done is that we have made a new variable or let's say reference which is pointing to null right so i am checking for the first time what will happen that your result will be pointing to null right so that means you have just now formed the head of your linked list right so that's what is happening here if it is null then what i'm saying that result is equals to new node of t2.data and then i'm appointing that result to current right so i'll make a new node one and it is pointing to result and i'm also pointing this as current right now the next time if the another one comes so i will just say they we would have an else condition else condition will say current dot next equals to new node right so current dot next equals to new node so this would be your new node and this would be your current right and then i will again update this current to new node current equals to current dot next so that if the next node comes it goes subsequently like this and it falls always in the else case so if this this if case is just a smart move here to handle uh to handle the head of our new formed linked list right and the stdo is stdo dash next it is just to iterate in our second linked list right let us compile and run 
ठीक है दैट्स ग्रेट सो लेट इस इट द समिट बटन सो व्हाट इज द टाइम एंड स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सिंस वी आर यूजिंग इटरेटिंग इन बोथ ऑफ द लूप्स सो टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी विड बी ओ ऑफ एन प्लस एम एन इज नथिंग बट द लेंथ ऑफ नंबर ऑफ नोड्स इन लिस्ट वन एंड एम इज नथिंग बट द नंबर ऑफ नोड्स इन लिस्ट टू सिमिलरली स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी वुड बी ओ ऑफ एन दैर इज द नंबर ऑफ नोट्स प्रेजेंट इन द फर्स्ट इज बिकॉज वी आर वी आर पुशिंग ऑल द नोट्स एंड इट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी इन टू अश मैप राइट ठीक है सो दैर इज इट एंड वी हैव डन दिस क्वेश्चन एज वेल Great. Let us switch back to the C plus S code. So there is a C plus S code. It's same as we have done in Java and in the dry run. So I will not just uh, I will not give you a code walkthrough again. You will be able to relate it well. So let's just hit the submit button for this code as well, and then we can end this video. Great. So that's done now. Let us meet again in the tomorrow's beauty this week. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye bye, and take care, guys.